Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm here with my beautiful wife Gloria and we are so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now before going to today's broadcast, now today is Friday, praise God. Now all week we've been so blessed. Listen, we are not just blessing you, we also are getting blessed. So blessed. That's, that's, the, that's the reason why I said the most valuable job anyone can have is to speak on God's behalf. Because <laughs> because I'll tell you the truth, you will increase in knowledge. You will we you see as we share these things, even our spirits are opening up to learn. Exactly. Praise God. Mm -hmm. But before going to today's broadcast, can we call for that daily bread and expect a miracle while we do this? Say with me, say Father. Father. I demand, I demand and I receive and right I now. Receive right now my daily bread. My daily it's pouring out to me. It's pouring out to me. Angels go. Angels go. Bring my portion. Bring my portion. For today. For today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I declare over you money is coming to you today. Amen. You will receive a miracle of Hallelujah. favor. You will receive a miracle of financial Amen. blessing today. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, we've been talking about family matters and we're dwelling on, or we're gleaning from the life of Abraham, Abraham. Yes. and the things God helped us to uh, see concerning his life. And we're talking about how he commanded his, his house, yeah. his, his family, not just his, his children, his, his household, household also. Yeah. And that's very important to yes. note because yes. there's there is your children yes. and then there is your household. Now, sometimes now, now, listen, we're going to be sharing on this. Let's just see how far the Lord will take us on this. So we're not just ending today. No, no, no. We're going to continue next week. So just get ready. Listen, go load your phone with data. Because <laughs> you, you, your family is going to change. Share this message with your spouse. I'm telling you. Just, just tell the person, you know what, can you, can you just watch this thing and tell me what you think afterwards? Yeah, that, that's the way. You know, sometimes I say, hey, my husband does not like, hey, you just say, hey, th there is something I want you to hear. There's something I heard in this thing. Listen to it and tell me, let me see whether you will hear the same thing I heard. That will be curious. <laughs> they want to hear what you are looking for, praise. And then you are praying and trusting the word of God to come to them while they watch. So share this message with everybody you think is important in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we were talking about Abraham and, and you, you mentioned availability. Say yes. And then, oh yeah, the Lord was now I was sharing what, what the Lord was sharing, why, why some men are not available. Inadequacy. The sense of inadequacy. The, some of them, the fear of not being able to meet up or meet the needs of their families now god never sent you to go meet the needs of the family it's not your business I say, ah, he, 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 what do you mean he said it's it has never been your business it is not your business jesus himself said take no, no thought mm -hmm. for no. your life saying what, what will i eat, eat? drink <laughs> yeah. is he said take no Take no means take no, not take no. No, take <laughs> no. <laughs> take no. Don't think about it. So, so anytime you, you find yourself saying, um, so, how am I going to go home today? I don't have money for my family. Guess what? You are disobeying what Jesus commanded you. I know what that means. You are entering into the realm of the devil. Yes, that's what you're doing. You're entering into the realm of the day. And I bet you Satan is going to have real fellowship with yeah. you. He will tell you, don't go home. Don't go home. See, if you go home now, your wife will insult you. If you go home now, eh, so, so don't go home. Don't go home. Thoughts come out of that. And so it's true. Maybe I should not even go home yet. Let me wait until they're already sleeping before I now get home. No. No. I told you what to do yesterday. Turn aside. Go before the Lord and say, Father, you have blessed me. You have blessed me with a family. And I've got to be able to give them direction. And I've got to be able to show them provision. So, Lord, what are you saying to me now? What do I 
do. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is never going to leave you. He's never going to abandon you. So we're talking about availability. Now, now take, we, we told you what to do in that situation. Be available for your family. Be available for them. Be available. It doesn't matter what you do as a husband of a home. Your family want to get across to you. You shouldn't take them time to get across to you. It doesn't matter how important what you're doing is. Your family needs your attention. Now, of course, you, you raise them up to know what you do. You know, someone was, someone was, you know, you know, someone was telling me recently. He said, I don't understand how Daniel, Daniel is our last one. I don't understand how Daniel has never run up to you on the pulpit while you're preaching. <laughs> you understand? Why? Because he is, he'll be too in, in February. But he understands that daddy is preaching. And he understands when daddy is preaching, you don't disturb him. Now he can be doing his own stuff where, where he is. But, Not on the stage. But, but another person was saying that, I mean, sometimes, you know, I think of it, that what if he just runs to the stage to meet you? Because we are close. But then he knows everything you want. You want to make noise, you want to shout, do it there. Don't come here. And not because he's scared, but because he, he has come to understand that daddy is in his place doing what he is doing. See, now that is how um, you bring that understanding to your, family. to your family. Not hiding from them what you do. Because sometimes, you know, you as a preacher is sometimes you will be so busy you may want to be so busy with the work of god like so busy with people that you just feel your family is okay oh because they just hear me preach from the altar they are fine there is the place for the family altar yeah. i think we should just talk about that a little before we wrap up today be available to share the word of god with your family you don't even need to be a pastor Remember that we established that this man, Abraham, had a personal work with Welcome God first. So your availability in the presence of God, where you hear him, you talk to him, you fellowship with him, you should also create that presence in your home. There must be a time where you consciously discuss the word of God with your wife. Pray with your wife. Pray with your children. Don't just be satisfied that they are, they are at Sunday school. So they are teaching them in church. Don't be satisfied that they are in a Christian school because some believers make this mistake that, let oh, me just put them let me Christian put them in a Christian school. They are okay. Fine. They are fine. No. The family is a place where the presence of God must live, must dwell. If no spiritual activity is taking place in that home, the presence of God will not dwell there. Your, your consciousness to build that, you know, we talked about how that a family that is divided, you know, when you're divided, you cannot stand. What are you standing on as a family? You have to stand on the word of God. How will you stand on the word of God when you don't share the word of God together? What is the family's take on health based on the word of God? Yeah. What is the family's take on finances based on the word of God? What is the family's take on dressing based on the word of God. What is a family's take on every area of life based on the word of God? As the head of the home, you must be available to pass down. You, as you, you know, be available for you and God and then know the blueprint for your family and then pass it down to your family members, not just your children. Everybody in the home. I talk about help so much Anytime I'm talk, talking about families, because these people are very neglected in some homes. You mean house helps? Yes, yeah. house helps, servants, maybe your laundry man. If some of them don't live with you, you know, they come, do their work, and they go. You should still make out time to engage them. I think everyone who comes into your home should understand the operation of your home, of your home. the principles and i'm not just you warning <clears throat> them i think you do more of teaching mm -hmm. than 
telling them why you do the, the things, things you, you do. do. Now, then, now yeah. for example, our children. Okay. They know if they ask us for anything. The first, I mean, I mean, I mean, right now, all we need to say is, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. Because we have taught them that. <laughs> so you're going to say, Daddy, I, I want this. Like, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? Go and pray. Exactly. How did we get there? Now we are saying, you know what to do. How did we get? We taught them. We taught them. Pray. From when they were born. When they started talking, started working, being you know, audible enough to ask, oh, daddy, can I have this? Can I have that? When he's not in the house, you know, it's easy when he's in the house. Okay, go get it from the fridge. Okay, take this. We need this. First of all, we started with, let's talk to God about it. Yeah. Not just go talk to God about it because how are they going to talk to God about it when they don't, they know, don't know how, what to, how say on to talk say, to yeah. God about it and what to say? So we spent time talking with them showing them how to pray making them repeat after us you know now we're talking about the practicality of how to pass down your work with god to your children to your family members as well so now you teach them how to pray you teach them how Should to pray, they pray Show with them. You? yes even jesus taught us how to pray yeah. when you when <coughs> we receive of him we he gives us the word and we speak and when you do that do it with faith yeah because that's what we did until our children began to receive their own testimonies. Yes. So, I mean, you, you can't turn their hearts away from <laughs> the truth that God provides. <laughs> They've it, seen it. Now they, they expect. Ha you they will have their own testimonies <laughs> you now. You remember last week, yeah. Okay. You know, they wanted us to go somewhere. And we told them, ask God to give us money. <laughs> <laughs> and every day <laughs> Zura will come to us and say have God given you money yet? and then she will say okay but you just bought meal <laughs> so money what? came and I'm like no money came for meal we were specific as to what we want the money for <laughs> so you have to be specific go tell God this is what I need money for and we told her that when that money comes you will know if it is for what? this request <laughs> but this would be like i'll go to the market and i'll come back and she's like ah, mommy money came you're saying money did not come <laughs> but how did you get money to do this shopping i'm like because this shopping is as a result and of the money that is that's for the shopping. because after praying she's looking out for they are looking out for the answer exactly so that's they are exactly. sensitive and they are expectant and that's it not just religious go and just pray whether he does it well, he doesn't do, do it. it. God is no, faithful. No, 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 no. He is faithful. He is faithful. But he proves and his when, faithfulness. And when the testimony comes, let them know no. that yeah. this is the result. Of, and explain the details to them. Yeah. But but you were talking about availability and then setting up the family altar. Yes. You know, that availability <clears throat> is what, for example, you know, I remember when we, we started doing bedtime stories for our children and what do we do better we don't go buy bedtime story books mm -mm. we convert stories, stories in, the in Bible. scriptures yeah. and just add some little fun to it and, to and it. tell them and sometimes to be amazed it will amaze you when you hear them retell those stories <laughs> praise god yeah now what's the purpose giving them a picture on how people work with god and let them understand, number one, that God speaks to people. Let them understand that God is concerned with what you do every day of your life. And then he hears. Because he sometimes, hears. so I, I, I think that sometimes we know that, oh, God speaks to people. But some, some of us are not confident that he hears, he hears us, us when we talk to him. Yeah. And then he doesn't just hear us, he responds when we talk to him. So... We have that kind of relation like okay whatever will be will be okay mm, he's god he, i mean if he wants to do it he will do it if he doesn't want to do it he will not do it no abraham didn't have that kind of blind yeah. relationship with god it was practical he communicated with god he, he god spoke to him he spoke back to god 
even when he did not understand some things, God would still come and talk to him. God would take him outside, count the stars. God did so many things for Abraham to be able to comprehend exactly what it meant to be a great nation. Now, whatever God deals with you, mm. it, will be, it will be tangible enough mm -hmm. for you to be able to pass, pass, it down. pass it down. Yes. So, listen, it doesn't matter who you are. You may be a pastor. You may just be allow me to use the word a normal person of course born again now we're, we're talking to god's children and if you're not a child of god yet it's time to become a child of god praise mm. god what this are you waiting work. for not here. <laughs> what are you waiting for yeah. praise god so so you you must first of all realize i've got to have a real working relationship with god and everything god teaches you you teach your household. It doesn't matter where you're, whether you have a family or not. Start teaching from the people around you. Mm -hmm. Start if you're a boss, teach your workers. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? If you, you okay, you're just a colleague. Teach your colleagues. Mm -hmm. When you get to office, do you know what God told me to do? Mm -hmm. That's where it's. You form the habit when you have a house. Mm -hmm. The habit has been formed. Yeah, it's the same thing you carry. Praise mm -hmm. God. Woo! What a week. <laughs> Aren't you so blessed to have my wife with me today? <laughs> Praise God. I'm feeling the blessing. So, we are continuing next week. So, don't think we're ending. No, no, no. We are going to continue next week. But I just want us to bless. I just want to bless you today. <clears throat> and Father, we release this blessing of vision. We release this blessing of availability. Amen. I hear wives crying that their husbands are never available. But Father, right now you are taking off those distractions Amen. and turning their hearts around towards their families. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, precious Thank Lord. You, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo! Listen, our hearts are so full of love for you. Mm. And this weekend is surely going to be a great weekend for you. You know yes. what to do? Listen to the whole message from Monday, Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday and friday and make out time yeah. to sit with your family and, and talk about god things. praise Hallelujah. god we'll see you next week until then have a wonderful weekend we love you bye bye, bye.